Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio. I'm your host, Mato. Glad to be back. Um, this show is being brought to you by SR Now Media. Please make sure you rate, subscribe, and review on the SR Now Media uh, brand new YouTube page. Um, we are in NFL Wildcard Weekend. Time to get into the show. Let's get into my huge health tips, hugehealthtips.com sports headlines. Um, sad news. Oh, and speaking of health tips, Markel Fultz is going to be out for the season. Uh, with a torn ACL, season-ending injury, season-ending injury, at, right after he got his contract his contract extension um, with Orlando. So, so so sorry to uh, hear that about Markel Fultz. After it looks like he was finally getting his way back, you know, back to some type of normalcy down there in Orlando. Um, Devontae Smith wins the Heisman. He becomes the first Heisman to win, the first wide receiver to win the Heisman since Desmond Howard back in 1991. And not to mention, Desmond Howard was a uh, elite. Punt returner um, back in his day. So shout out to Devin, Devontae White for that. The Mets, the stinking Mets, have acquired um, shortstop, all-star shortstop, Golden Glove shortstop, Francisco Lindor in the trade with the Cleveland Indians. Some people are calling this the steal of the century, the steal of a lifetime. They have no idea what what they gave the Cleveland Indians and what they got back. Um, they feel like it's a super imbalance. Some people feel like Francisco Lindor is a top 10 player in in MLB. I beg to differ, but nonetheless, he's a good shortstop. And the Mets' um, new ownership looks like they're geared towards winning now. Um, So shout out to the Mets for that, even though I am a super Mets hitter. I can't stand the Mets. But um, it should be interesting uh, uh, next season. Um, And a surprise happened. And last but not least, Jim Harbaugh got a contract extension from Memphis. Um, from the Memphis University, um, with one more year left, with one more year left on his deal, everybody thought you know Jim Harbaugh was done. He'd never beat Ohio State in his career, never got into the uh, college football playoffs. Um, had some good seasons, but not great seasons. Um, the NFL got a lot of coaching openings. A lot of people thought he was going back to the NFL. You know, and then, boom, out of nowhere, Michigan doubled down on Jim Harbaugh. So shout out to Jim Harbaugh. Um, I hope Michigan doesn't. Hope I hope. They don't have a a lackluster season coming up, and then Michigan blows the whole thing up, and then I'm having to pay this man, you know, a severance um, because the contract extension leaves him in Michigan through 2025. So this seems like something for the long haul. So it is what it is, and those are my huge health tips. dot com sports headline. Time to get into my main topic, but before we get into my main topics, I gotta let you know this show is being brought to you. This segment is being brought to you by CBD. MD. Please go to cbdmd.com. Use the promo code MADO at checkout, M-A-D-O, and you can get 15% off your entire CBD order. Uh, CBDMD has some of the latest and greatest, most premium CBD products on the internet um, to date. So please go to cbdmd.com if you are in the market for CBD products. Um, the THC-free, GMO-free, and um, premium, some of the best products on the market today. Um, so make sure you take advantage of that. Again, the promo code is MADO. M A D O, um, and the website is cb cbdmd.com. <clears throat> I want to talk basketball a little bit. I want to talk about one thing, real, real short. Uh, first of all, Kyrie Irving, stop. You're being a diva. You're disres- you disrespecting your coach. You're disrespecting your teammates. You're disrespecting the Brooklyn Net fans, whoever they are, right? But <laughs> um, Kyrie, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Kyrie Irving. Recently missed, um, I think his last two games, and then he came out publicly and said the reason he missed the games is because he didn't want to play. Not personal reasons, not injury. He came out and said he didn't want to play. Here's why I don't like it. It's super unprofessional. You could have said anything. You could have said I, I just need personal time. I need a personal reason. Um, you could have said you know I feel soreness in my shoulders, soreness in my knees, or. You know, I just wanted to, you know, I just needed a rest day. By you coming out and just blatantly saying, I didn't want to play, it's just, you're you just undermining and disrespecting your coach, teammates, the Nets fans. You're just undermining everybody. And it's like diva, it's like diva activity. And I'm not sure why, like, what's the point of even doing that? You know what I mean? I don't, you know, we can get, that, we can get into that a little bit later. Because I want some things I want to break down. We have to do that in a, a deeper episode where I can go deeper and darker into it about how, how Kyrie Irving hasn't won anything 
since he hasn't been teammates with LeBron. About how Kyrie Irving hasn't played a full season um, since I think his first by his first two or three years he hasn't played a full season due to nagging and uh, injuries. But we can get into that at a, at a later time. Um, that I think Kyrie um, needs to have his focus and not just blatantly undermining his coach and his team and whatever. It just it just it baffles me. But I, I did want I want to go NBA again. I want to talk about the, the Toronto Raptors who are currently playing in Tampa right now. I think the Raptors are done, right? They're one and six on the year, one and six or one and seven on the season, right? They're twenty third in points scored. At, they got they're scoring one hundred seven points a game. They're twenty third in the league. That's bottom half of the league. They're twenty fourth in the league in three point percentage. They're twenty fourth in the league. They're shooting thirty four percent from three. That's twenty fourth in the league, and this is the league now. And I, I bring up those two stats because. In this league, you got to score 120 points a night. You better shoot damn near 39, 40% from three if you want to win every night. Right? This is the NBA. This is what it is now. You shoot good from three, and you score a lot of points. The Raptors are doing none of that. They only have one win on the season. Um, you know, they're two, three years removed from um, their NBA title. Two years removed from the, an, NBA, an NBA title with, with, with Kawhi Leonard. I'm saying all that to say that it may be time to rebuild, right? It may be time to blow this thing up. And I'm looking at Kyle Lowry, 34 years old. He's in the last year of his deal. He's due to make $30 million this year, last year of his deal. Um, All-star. I'm saying you go, you trade Kyle Lowry to bring back the draft picks or to bring back some younger players because it doesn't make sense to, you're not going to resign him. You're not going to be good this year, right? You're not going to. Uh, you're not making the playoffs, right? You have you have young Pascal Siakam. I'm not mad if you keep Pascal Siakam and you build around him. I wouldn't be mad at that. But you're you're sitting there with Kyle Lowry, an All Star, a player who can help one of these contending teams, right? You go, you trade him, you get the draft picks, you know, and then and then you move on, and you start rebuilding from there. I think Kyle, I would like to see Kyle Lowry return to his hometown, Philadelphia, um, and play for the 76ers. That would be dope. Um, uh, who else? I'm, I wouldn't be mad if Kyle Lowry went to the Atlanta Hawks um, to help those guys out. Um, having two veteran point guards with Rondo and Kyle Lowry, I wouldn't be mad at that at all. Rondo, Kyle Lowry, and Trey Young. I uh, wouldn't be mad at that at all. But I would like to see Kyle Lowry trade it. Out of Toronto. And I would like Toronto to just realize, to look at themselves and go, yeah, we need to rebuild. It's over. The run is over. You got a championship out the run. You, you know, what, what more could you have gotten out of it? Now it's time to rebuild. It's time to shift gears. Trade Kyle Lowry in the middle of the season. Don't do it now. Wait, wait till around, you know, February, early February, mid-February. Trade him, you know. Um, you know, see what you can get. Hopefully you bring back a first round draft pick from a contending team. Almost know you you should be able to get a first round draft pick, especially to a team that think they can, you know, think they're right there, to think they need one more player to get them over the hump, one more veteran player to get them over the hump. They'll give they'll play they'll pay the premium for um Kyle Lard. So yes, I think the Raptors need to be built. I think it's over. And um it's time to rebuild. And the operation number one is to trade Kyle Lowry and bring in some draft picks or bring in some young players. I'm not against that either. Bringing in some some young guys um, to start the build around. Um, another thing I wanted to get into, I wanted to get into Lamar Jackson. Right? We we know what we know what the narrative is, and we're going to get into my wild card picks. I'm going to do something a little bit different with my wild card picks and my one good bet one good bet segment. Lamar, we all know what it is. Lamar Jackson MVP. Of the NFL before, um, you know, second straight year with a thousand yard rushing is up for a quarterback. Um, you know, all the highlights in the world, uh, top five quarterback in the league. Um, you know, we can say it all. But the biggest thing is 0 and 2 in the playoffs, right? A lot of people think Tom Brady has more pressure on him going into this playoffs. He doesn't. He has six rings. If Tom Brady. If Tom Brady came out today and says I don't, I'm not playing the game, playing the, uh, I'm not playing the game against Washington football team, and I retire, 
Nothing happens to his legacy. He has six rings. He has six rings. That means that if you start putting a ring on every finger, he's going to start. He's already started on the next finger. He has six rings. Nine Super Bowl appearances. He has nothing to worry about as far as legacy. Tampa can go out in the first round. I don't think they are. We're going to get to my picks. But it wouldn't matter. It's not going to matter. Tom Brady does not have pressure on him going into his playoffs. I think the most pressure is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is in line to get, what, $250 million? I think he's due to get less than what Patrick Mahomes got and more than what Deshaun Watson got as far as, contra- as, far as uh, overall contract money. I think that's sitting there for him. But if he goes 0-3 in the playoffs, his re- if his re- if playoff record imp- goes 0-3, I mean, he loses to the Tennessee Titans this year. Now we got to start looking at Lamar Jackson a different way. I think so. I think we got to look at him a different way. I think we. I think you hesitate giving him two hundred and fifty million. I think you hesitate. Um, I think you hesitate when you start putting him in that top five quarterback category. You know what I mean? So, and then his narrative about Lamar Jackson will be, yeah, you'll win a lot of games. You'll rush. He'll make a lot of highlights. Yeah, you'll probably make the playoffs, but you won't. You won't win a playoff game. You won't go far. And he's playing a team. That ha- that has generated a playoff formula at least in the last few years. They have a playoff formula with Derrick Henry that is you know is foolproof. It works in the playoff. Play defense, run the ball. So I think Lamar Jackson has the most pressure, the most pressure um, on this wild card weekend going into the playoffs, and uh, so we will see, and uh, we'll get into my picks later on in the show. Um, before I get into my NFL picks. Um, i let you know this segment of the show is being brought to you by Avalo Coffee. Avalo Coffee promises to offer the premium experience. Please go to Avalo Coffee and get 12.5% off every coffee order if you start your subscription. Um, and if you start your subscription today, uh, you can get use the promo code OFF at checkout. You can get an additional 10% off your entire order. So that's 12, 12.5% for starting your, starting, your, starting your subscription and an additional 10% off by using the promo code OFF, and that is exclusive to my Off Night Radio listeners. Um, again, Ava Low Coffee, promo code OFF. Uh, time to get into my NFL picks, my wild card weekend NFL picks. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, let me pull up my picks now. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to tell you, um, I've placed the bet. I've already placed my bets on every single wild card game this weekend, right? Um, and... I'm going to tell you how I bet every single game. I didn't pick them. Um, I didn't pick the games. Uh, what do you want to call it? I didn't pick them like straight up. Sometimes I picked the points. Sometimes I took the over under. Um, and we just want to go through all the games. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through all the games that I picked and how I picked them. All right. Um, Indianapolis Colts at the Buffalo Bills. I took the Buffalo Bills straight up minus 300. Minus 300 means you have to bet 300 in order to win $100. So I took the Buffalo Bills straight up. Um, Los Angeles Rams at the Seattle Seahawks. I think this is going to be a dog fight. I took the under on the points at 42 and a half. So I got this the over the overall score at 42 and a half points. I mean, if they score 43 points, I lose. Um, and I don't think they are. I think this is going to be a dog fight. I think it's going to be like a, 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 a 16 to 10 game or something like that. Um, so I picked the under in that game. Um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Washington football team. I took Tampa straight up. I don't think Washington has a chance, even though I like their uh, I like their um, defensive line. I think they have one of the best defensive lines in the league. Um, I just think Tom Brady's too good um, to, for, to, to, to let this to let this team um, eliminate him from the playoffs. Just think he's too good for that. Um, again, Chicago Bears. At the New Orleans Saints. A game that's going to be on Nickelodeon, I might add. That's going to be interesting. Chicago Bears at the New Orleans Saints. I took the New Orleans Saints um, straight up because I don't think the Bears have a shot. I took the, took the Saints straight up at minus 490. Minus 490 meaning you have to bet $490 in order to win 100. So I'm going with the New Orleans Saints straight up in that one. Baltimore Ravens at the Tennessee Titans. We talked about this a little bit earlier. I didn't take either team straight up. I took the over. 
The over was at um, 54 and a half points at minus 112. Minus 112, meaning you have to bet $112 to win 100. So I took the over. I think it's going to be a lot of points scored. I think Lamar Jackson's going to score a lot of points. I think the um, Tennessee Titans are going to throw the ball more than people think, and I think they're going to score a lot of points. So I took the over on the points with that. And last but not least, the Cleveland Browns at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I took the under. I think this is going to be a dog fight. Uh, I took the under at 47, 47 and a half points um, at minus 110. That means you got to bet $110 to win $100. That's what the minus 110 means. And, yeah, I took the under on that. I think it's going to be another dog fight. And, um, yeah, that's how I bet. So those are, those are all of my one good bets on the wild card weekend. And um, we'll see. I, depending on how this weekend goes, I might bet on the – um, I might bet on the uh, national national championship game. Um, as far as my pick on the national championship game, I think I'm gonna go with Alabama to win that game. I'm going with Alabama to uh, to win the Ohio State game in, in a blowout. Yeah, in a blowout. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be fun. By halftime, it's not gonna be watchable. Sorry. So, but I, I have to figure out depending on how good I do in this wild card weekend, I'm gonna determine how either how much I'm gonna wager in, in the championship game, national championship game. And how I'm going to wager. Do I want to do the points? Do I want to do Alabama straight up? So there's not really no money in that, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to do the over, under on Mac Jones passing yards? I don't know. But we'll get into it. Um, time to wrap up the show. Time to get into my weekend sports. Brought to you by SpendingNight.com. NBA games, of course. Full slate. NCAA basketball games. Full slate. Um, NHL is coming back next week. UFC is coming back next week. Um Golf is actually a, a major, not a major golf tournament, but, but a, a golf tournament worth watching this weekend taking place in Ohio and Hawaii. The Century Tournament, the Century Tournament of Champions um, is taking place this weekend. Um, so and they got some big players out there. So that's going to be worth it. I'm going to be tuning in and out of that throughout the weekend. And of course, NFL playoffs. Nothing's bigger than NFL playoffs this weekend. Um, so it is what it is. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you rate, subscribe, and review on wherever you listen to this podcast. Whether it's Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, the speaker app, the speaker app is actually recommended to listen to any of the podcasts that I do. Um, make sure you rate, subscribe on the SR Now Media's YouTube page. You'll be greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys on the divisional.